Hey YouTube, what is up and welcome back to tutorial number 16 and in this tutorial I'm just going to be talking to you guys about borders and I'm pretty sure all of you guys know what borders are and there's no point in me even explaining even though in the last tutorial I kind of made myself look dumb and I said a border is a line that goes all the way around your box so uh, yeah I'm pretty sure all you guys know what a border is I don't really have to explain it but before we get started, I just want you guys to take note that um, my, I'm still using the same HTML code that we used in the previous tutorial. And I'm still using all the exact same CSS, except for the fact that I changed my padding to be 20 pixels all the way around. So if you run this in Firefox, you should get a nice even 20 pixel padding all the way around our header. So let's go ahead and make our borders. And to add in a border you have to add in three properties. So you actually have to go border hyphen width and that's going to be the width of your border. How wide do you want your border to be? So let's just start that off at four pixels so that you guys can see it but usually you'll set a border to be around one or two pixels. I don't, I don't really see too many websites um, have borders thicker than that. And then uh, we can just go border color, border minus color, and we can set that to red. And then we've got the border style. Now the border style is, um, there's actually a whole different um, bunch of styles that you can use. So you can use solid borders, uh, dashed borders, dotted borders, and I'll explain the rest to you later. So let's just go ahead and set this border minus style to be solid. Uh, that just means it's going to be one color all the way around. So let's go ahead and save that. And when we go back to Firefox and click refresh, watch what happens. We're going to get a nice red border all the way around our blue box. Look at that. Okay, pretty awesome. So that's how you add a border in CSS. But you know what? To be honest, if you go back to your CSS, if you take a look at this, I mean, every time you want to add a border, that's three lines of code. That is a lot of coding. And you know what? If you want to be lazy like me, you don't really want to type three lines of code every time you want to add a border. So I'm just going to show you guys a shorter way real quick. Uh, what you can do is you can actually just type in the property border. And instead of um, adding in any of these keywords, what you then do is you just put the, uh, the width of the border you want. So four pixels. And then you put your style, so solid. And then you can put in your color, which you want is red. And then we can actually get rid of all this code because we don't need it anymore. And if we save this and we go back to Firefox, you're going to see it's exactly the same. Nothing's going to happen. So our this code still works. It does exactly the same as all three of the other lines, but it's all in one line. So if you guys are lazy like me, then that's the way that you guys actually want to add a border to your page. It's just a lot shorter and it's a lot easier. And uh, yeah, basically just for me, a lot better. That's how I prefer to make a border. And then the next thing I want to show you guys is I've already showed you guys that you can change the color which uh, with a hexadecimal number. So if you went and grabbed a hexadecimal number like that and put it in here, you'd uh, be able to change your color. And I mean, you guys obviously know how to change the width of your border I mean just the bigger pixels the width more wider it's gonna get the smaller the pixels the thinner it's gonna get but styles like I said there are different types of styles that you can use for your border so we've used solid which was a solid um, solid color all the way around now what you can do is uh, let's just go ahead and change this to dashed just so that you can see that there are some different styles and watch what happens when you change it to dashed now. You get these like dashed lines all the way around our header, which is, you know, pretty cool. 
if you wanted to make like a coupon or something and uh, you also get dotted so I'll, let, I'll show you guys what dotted looks like and that's basically just dots all the way around our page or our header sorry and yeah there's actually a whole bunch of them there's dotted there's inset and outset and uh, you guys can go ahead and play with all of those different styles I'm actually gonna put them all in the description below so go ahead and take it the description take a look at the description and then try out all those styles and see which one you like and uh, the last thing I want to explain to you guys is um, in the previous video you guys watched uh, you would have seen that we could put padding different padding on each side of our um, content now over here we can also do the same thing with the border so if I wanted my border on the top and only on the top then I could just go border minus top and when we refresh this we're just gonna get one solid border all the way along the top of our header so let's refresh and there we go and uh, you can also do that with uh, left and right and so on but I'm not gonna explain that all to you guys because it's pretty obvious what it's gonna do so uh, if you guys want different borders then you can actually specify different styles for the top left right and bottom and you'll actually get different styles so that's all I've got for you guys in this tutorial and uh, I hope you guys join me for the next tutorial where we will be talking about margins so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment like or share my videos it's really gonna help my channel grow so thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time